My dad used to dread if it was the summertime and my mom needed a box down out of the attic. Why? Because going up there, even just for a few minutes, meant he would be sweating for sure because of just how hot it was up there. This is because my parents' attic, like many others, is vented. But let's talk about what differences an encapsulated attic could make, especially in regards to your HVAC system. When we're doing a manual J on a home, one question we always ask is whether the attic is vented or encapsulated. But what do we mean when we say vented attic? Here is a typical vented attic setup. The air inside the home is cooled to 75 degrees, but up in the attic, outside air is able to enter through the soffit vents and leaves through the ridge vents at the top. As the sun is beating down on the house throughout the day, Heat gets transferred through the roof deck structure and heats up the air inside the attic. This increases the heat load on the ceiling and even some of that heat is able to transfer through the ceiling. This leads to the attic being up to 120 to 150 degrees compared to the 75 degrees we're trying to keep the inside of the home. Just like your car when it's not running, even if you crack the windows a bit, it's still going to get hot after sitting in the sun. To make matters worse, a lot of times the HVAC ductwork and possibly even the air handler are in the attic. Even though the ductwork is insulated, there is still some heat transferred from the hot attic to the air in the ducts, especially over long distances. And if your return ducts are in the attic, it heats that air up too, making your system work harder to cool it back down and hurting your efficiency. Now, let's look at an encapsulated attic. In this setup, the insulation is placed up on the underside of the roof deck, bringing the attic inside the thermal envelope of the building. This is usually done with something like spray foam. And we got rid of the vents allowing outside air to enter the attic space. Now everything is sealed up. A little heat is still able to transfer through the roof deck, but not as much as before. Now the attic is something around 81 degrees compared to the 75 degrees inside the house, much closer and any leaks that may be in the ductwork in the attic are just helping to condition that attic space since it's sealed off now. This helps lower the overall heat load on the home and the ductwork especially. How much of a difference does it make? Let's look at an example. Here is a house that's 1,469 square feet and it's located in Tampa, Florida. With all other factors the same, we're just going to look at the difference in the load when the attic is vented with R30 insulation compared to when it's encapsulated with R20 insulation. This chart is from the Manual J report for this house with the vented attic. Overall, the total load on the house is 27,425 BTUs, which would require a two and a half ton system. This chart on the bottom is for the same house, just with the attic encapsulated with R20 insulation on the roof deck. The total load here is 22,513 BTUs, which would require a two-ton system. That comes out to a difference of about 5,000 BTUs for this size house. We can see the biggest difference in the loads on the ductwork, which are much smaller for the encapsulated attic version. So you can really see how encapsulating the attic helps improve the energy efficiency of your home. Although it may cost a little bit more upfront, it definitely helps save money down the road. If you like this video, make sure you click that like button down below and as always subscribe to our channel so that you can be notified every time we upload a new video. And if you have any HVAC design service needs, be sure to visit us at www.procalx.net. Thanks for watching.